Welcome to our Workbench tutorial. The Workbench is an environment with a specific set of tools designed to create and manipulate geometry. For example, right now I have a dot cat part document open with a 3D solid in 3D space. And right now I'm in what's called the Part Design Workbench. This workbench has a set of tools designed to manipulate a three dimensional object in three dimensional space. Another workbench is called the Sketcher Workbench. I'm going to click on the Part Design icon on the Workbench toolbar and switch to Sketcher. I'm going to click on this sketch and right now I'm on the Sketcher workbench. You see here that the icon has changed and now I have the Sketcher workbench icon. You can see the tools have changed as well. But some tools like the standard toolbar and the view toolbar stay the same. Here we're still in our dot cat part document. In order to exit the sketch workbench, I can click the exit workbench icon. And now I'm back to my part design workbench. Let's go now to a different workbench. For example, the wireframe and surface design workbench. As you can see, the icon on the workbench toolbar has now changed. We again have different tools, tools now suitable for the wireframe and surface design workbench. Katia also allows us to create our own custom workbenches. Select tools. Customize, User Workbenches, Add New, let's call it My Workbench, click OK. As you see, this workbench is now our active workbench. We go to Toolbars. We can add toolbars, modify, delete, basically create our own custom environment. We can see this workbench also in the Start menu. Click Close and select the Start menu. And we see our workbench right here. Now let's go to Drafting Workbench. Katia prompts us with a dialog window. I click OK for now. Katia created a drawing document. And now, in fact, we've got the drawing workbench with drawing tools. Now, if I switch between these two documents, as you can see, the workbench environment changes as well. I'm going to close this document for now. And let's explore one more workbench under Mechanical Design. Let's explore the Assembly Design workbench. As you can see, Katia created what's called a CAT product document. Now, as you can see here, I can't use the assembly design workbench for CAT part documents. When I switch to the assembly design workbench, Katia creates the appropriate type of document for me. 
you can see that inside the cat product document I can switch workbenches. For example, I can switch from the assembly design to the product structure workbench. This concludes our tutorial on workbenches.